Hey guys, it's me, Eric Newman. Developing software for virtual reality and augmented reality is hard. Like, really, really hard. And not the least of which is because it's actually physically difficult. When you spend 18 hours, you know, putting on a headset and taking it off, and putting on a headset and taking it off, and getting up and testing things with your arms, you are physically sore after all of this. Uh, one of the things that I like to say is that working on virtual reality gives you all the problems of a coder and a factory worker. Um, so why is this? Well, the problem is that right now, basically the only way to build virtual reality is by traditional software engineering means. That is to say, through code. And you can't alter code from inside of a headset. Or can you? Logitech has been working on this new thing. Uh, it's called the Logitech Bridge. And they actually were so kind as to send me a developer kit so that I could check this out. The developer kit consists of this awesome keyboard right here, which has a you know, customizable, color-changing keys, just like any gaming keyboard. It's very heavy, really solid mechanical transfer. Um, and of course, it comes with this thing. This thing is called the Logitech Bridge. And what it is is it's an L-shaped clamp that attaches to a Vive tracker. And it has a magnet inside it so that it can clip right there onto the keyboard. So what this allows the Logitech Bridge software to do is know where in space my keyboard is and then overlay that keyboard uh, with a 3D model of a keyboard in my virtual space. So exactly where my physical keyboard is, there's a virtual one. They then also use the front-facing camera to let me see my fingers. That part's not quite as good just yet, but I can see where they're going with it. So how does all of this work? Well, they are actually using a thing called the Steam Overlay System which allows their 3D model to be placed over the top of the environment that you're in. This means that theoretically, your Steam keyboard can show up, <clears throat> sorry, your Logitech keyboard can show up in any game that you're playing. This is pretty cool, uh, possibly a game changer. So I'm pretty excited to try this thing out and I'll be testing it over the next couple of weeks and I'll let you guys know what I find. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and as always, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.